All right, guys. Before I forget, I wanted to cover one more improvement that we made to the uh, greenhouse. It's our rain catching system. We have this, uh, first we have the leaf guard that we added. And down here, see it comes down to a small nozzle. There's a filter inside that. So the first several gallons, fill this, push a ball up, and then stops that, and then it goes inside into a rain catching system. So this leaf guard up here, you know, comes off so you can clean it. But really it just dries and then the wind blows it off. So uh, it's pretty incredible. Anyway, the uh, water has been a lot cleaner. I'll show you inside in just a second. Okay, so we're inside. So that comes from the outside. I reduced it down from a three inch and you can order that off Amazon. The, uh, I'll have to remember the name of it, but the leaf guard and you look it up and it's, forgot what it's called. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, this right here comes and drops into the uh, rain catcher. As you can see, there's a little bit of dirt on the bottom, but uh, that was probably more from me not getting it uh, really, really clean. Our old system got a lot of gunk in here. But if you test the water, it's testing out three parts per million, which is uh, almost equal to reverse osmosis water. Uh, the pH starts at six, or it starts at seven, but I just tested it today and it's down to about 6.6. .6. So uh, that could have been the last rain was a little more acidic. So I'll show you one more thing we added on the other side. So I added an extra tote here and I just covered it with uh, a tarp so we wouldn't get any algae. But you can see here, I just tied it into the lid standard fitting Home Depot um, I put a little you know screened vent there I don't know if it's exactly needed but I didn't want to get where uh, there wasn't enough oxygen coming through there in a heavy rain and for it to uh, pressurize itself or anything like that so that ties into the, our other side so it catches on the other uh, around 300 square foot of roof space and you can see I put an overflow just with a uniseal, shoved it in there. And you can also see that after just two rains, we've already filled it up. So I designed this. For one, I'll probably connect just the garden hose to the two, see if that helps equalize. And uh, let me show you the other side of the greenhouse and the plan for the future. But this uh, gets us ar already up close to 500 gallons of rainwater, and that will run that will run our system for uh, probably four to five months at least, maybe more. So I can easily run the system with just rainwater, no need for a reverse osmosis system. Um, you know, on the bigger scale, you would have to get you know 3,000 gallon rain catchers to uh, to run a large commercial system. And probably have rows of those. Uh, I know some of the commercial systems do that, but for us, it was just more economical to uh, catch what we need instead of trying to put a reverse osmosis. I have one at the house, and I can only get the water down to about 22 parts per million, uh, about seven on the pH. So I can actually catch the water with this system cleaner, uh, much easier for me too. I'll show you the outside and the plan for the future real quick. So this is the back side of the greenhouse, uh, the south side. Well, maybe the north side, I guess. This is the north side here. So uh, this is the overflow, and I did not glue this. So you can see it goes out, and I've put a screen so nothing can crawl back in. So we have another one with a drain tube leaf guard on this side. So what we're gonna do hopefully in the future is use this space it's kind of on a slant which is probably good but I'll block one side and put totes down this wall 
and cover them with uh, a black plastic so they won't get any algae or anything and then get a pressurized pump and that would allow me to water the garden using rainwater which would uh, grow much better and you can see our uh, garden area here has some wood chips left but I did scrape those I'll cover that in another video and right now we've got some grass growing on another garden area here so anyway guys uh, just quick update on that rain harvesting system and you can buy all that stuff on Amazon I'll see if I can remember the name it's something about first oh uh, I can't remember anyway good luck guys and I'll try to put it in the description I know I can uh, get it off my Amazon account so anyway that's a leaf eater and we'll look up that. All right, good luck, guys.